Hi everyone welcome to my channel Autocar 09 in the late 1960s, as Cold War tensions continued to shape military doctrine and weapon development, a groundbreaking tank emerged that promised to revolutionize armor warfare. The MBT-70, a joint German-American effort, was perhaps the most ambitious main battle tank project ever conceived during its era. It was a machine filled with innovation, experimental engineering, and bold ideas that far surpassed the technological norms of its time, though it ultimately failed to reach production. The MPT-70 remains one of the most significant and influential tank prototypes ever built. Its legacy can be seen in both the American F-1 Abrams and the German Leopard 2 A2 of the most iconic tanks of the modern era. The MPT-70 project began in the early 1960s as NATO strategists realized that future tank engagements would require a next-generation vehicle that could outmatch the rapidly evolving Soviet armor threat. The M60 pattern, while capable, was considered increasingly outdated compared to potential opponents like the T-64 and T-72, both of which were under development in the USSR. Similarly, Germany's Leopard 1, though faster and mobile, lacked the heavy protection and firepower needed for a direct confrontation with Soviet tank forces. A solution was proposed, combine American and German engineering into a unified tank platform that could be mass-produced and fielded across NATO, simplifying logistics and standardizing tanks. What followed was a rare and complex multinational collaboration, a project jointly led by the United States and West Germany, combining their engineering philosophies, defense industries, and military requirements into a single main battle tank. The goal was ambitious to build a tank with unmatched firepower, survivability, mobility, and crew survivability that could remain effective well into the 1980s. The MPT-70 was to be the cutting-edge embodiment of NATO armored power, capable of outgunning and outmaneuvering any adversary. At first glance, the MPT-70 was visually distinct from any tank of its time. Its sleek, angular turret, low-slung hull, and futuristic profile set it apart from traditional armored vehicles. One of the most notable features was its hydro-pneumatic suspension system, which allowed the tank to raise and lower itself by several inches. This capability let it kneel for a lower silhouette in combat or raise up for improved visibility and gun depression. This advanced suspension also offered superb ride quality and stability over rough terrain, improving accuracy during fire on the move engagements. The vehicle's mobility was further enhanced by its 1,500 horsepower MTU diesel engine on the German variant and the Continental AVCR gas turbine engine on the US prototype. Both configurations gave the MPT-70 a top speed exceeding 43 miles per hour and excellent acceleration for a vehicle weighing more than 50 tons. It could keep up with mechanized infantry in virtually any terrain and had a range of over 300 miles putting it on par with or exceeding its contemporaries in terms of operational endurance. Inside the MBT-70, the vehicle pushed the limits of crew safety and innovation. The tank featured a three-man crew, commander, gunner, and driver, all located within the turret. Uniquely, the driver's seat was mounted in a rotating platform inside the turret, allowing the driver to always face forward no matter which way the turret turned. This radical idea was intended to enhance communication and protection by keeping all crew members in the turret compartment, safely enclosed within the tank's heavily armored central module. Though mechanically complex and difficult to service, the system represented a true leap forward in crew survivability and ergonomic design. The MPT-70's armor was composed of a multi-layered steel and composite system that offered increased resistance to both kinetic and chemical energy threats. While the exact composition remains classified, it was known that the protection levels were far beyond those of the M60 or Leopard 1. The stope turret and hull design maximized deflection angles and minimized exposed surface area offering superior defensive geometry. The goal was to provide full frontal protection against Soviet 115mm and 125mm rounds, which were expected to dominate future armored battles.